Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to design this roller. And according to the instruction given by the instructor, he wants you to create this part using the revolve method. And he wants you to use a fully defined sketch. And for this hole, he wants you to use the circular pattern. And after that, we are going to create a section view or that looks something like this. So let's start by clicking new, starting a new part file. The unit is an inch, so you can change your units up there. So click on this option, um, on that document property, units, change it to inch and click OK. So next, let's click sketch. And we have all of our sketch plane. I'm going to start my sketch on the right plane. So I'm going to move this over here. Let's draw a line from the origin point going back and click that line and make it a construction line. The next thing we are going to do is just draw this shape. So just as you see, that's what we are going to draw. So above that construction line, let's draw a shape that looks like this. Something that looks like this. So I'm going to draw this. Good. So once you have a shape that looks like this, let's click this line, this point, and that point at a horizontal relation. Click this point and this point are the vertical relation. Click this point and this point and add the horizontal relation. So we just kind of want to um, define everything before we start adding our dimensions. Good. So next we can start adding our dimension. The overall diameter of this part is three. So we we'll select our dimensions. So from this line to the center line. So anytime you dimension to a center line, if you move it up here, it will give you the radius. You move it down, it is going to give you the diameter and that's what we want. So we'll click down here and add three. So that's the overall length. So the dimensions here are 0.125, so we can just add that now, 0.125 and 0 0.125 okay good so we can add the dimensions down here the hole so this empty space is going to represent the hole on the inside and that is going to be 0 0.76 so we'll add the dimension from here 0.76 click this point and our origin point and add a vertical relation. Good. So we can do the same thing back here. Click this point and the end point of that construction line and add a vertical relation. So next we can add this dimension, which is one. So from our center point, to this our center line to that line bring it down it is going to be one so let me move this around so you can see it better the next thing we need to do is we can add the dimension for the overall length the overall length is 1.375 so we can click this line and add our dimension 1.375 Okay, so the next thing we can add is we can add this dimension up here and that is going to be 1.125. So from this line to that line, 1.125. Okay, what else is next? So we can kind of move things around to see where we are missing dimension. So we are missing this dimension and um, that dimension is this right here is this part 
and that dimension is 2.5. So again, we select our dimension, this line to our center line is 2.5. So let me arrange everything so you can see. Um, again, what else are we missing? So we are missing this. This is still moving around. And the dimension is right here. So from this face, this line to that face, it is 0.125. Good. So we have that 0.125 and that is down here. And the only dimension we need now is this. And that dimension is given over here, which is 2.75. So we can add the dimension from this line to that line and it's 2.75. So please review your dimension and make sure that I didn't miss any dimension because sometimes I tend to, um, but everything looks good. Our sketch is fully defined. That is the first step. And now what we are going to do is revolve it. So, and that brings us to the second step. So we come to feature, revolve and it is already picking our center axis and it is revolving it 360 and we select OK. So that is the first part and I'm going to increase my image quality. So let me go back to image quality and I'm going to good. So the next thing we are going to do is add the circular hole. So first we'll select this face and sketch normal two. Let me move it over here so you can see it. And the first thing we are going to do is add a circle. Let me try that again. Add a circle. And that circle represents this center circle. And the dimension for that circle is 1.75. So I'm going to add a diameter 1.75 and click on that circle and make it a construction line and add another circle right where the quadrant is. Let me turn off my shadow so you'll see what's going on. So right where the quadrant is, add a circle right there. Or you can just make sure your circle is on this uh, construction circle and you can click the center point of that circle Holding down the control key, click your origin point and add a vertical relation. So it's the same thing. And uh, the dimension for that circle is 0.25. So we'll select a circle and make it 0.25. So we have a fully defined circle. I don't think it's specified anywhere. Okay. So we can create the circle this way. And now select extrude cut and you want to select up to next. So we just cut it to the back and click OK. So looking at this part, there is a fillet on it. So the next thing we can do before we create our circular pattern is to add the fillet. So select fillet and fillet is 0 0.06. So we select 0 0.06 and we want to add the fillet to the this face and the back face because if you look here you can see the fillet and click OK. Next we'll come to circular pattern. So under your feature tab click circular pattern. Let me try that again. So feature tab click this drop down circular pattern and we want to um, up here in the perimeter select any circular edge so you can select this or there so i'll select this edge and features to pattern so come to the features to pattern my fillet was already select but i'm going to deselect it just to show you again so i can click on this drop down i want to pattern the circle that i cut and the fillet and click ok it is five so because it's given here five times make sure you have five equal spacing. 
which is this EQ space means equal spacing and click OK. And that is pretty much it for this part. The next thing we need to do is add our fillet. Come to fillet and the fillet size is 0 0.06 and I believe there's a fillet here. There's a fillet up here. There's a fillet right here. There's a fillet here. There's another one here. There's another one. Um, if you can see it, it's on the back side here. There's another one on this outside face, the edge here. And there's another one up here, here. So you can add your fillet multiple times. You can add just one and save it, but I'm just adding everything together at once. So I'll click OK. So I believe that's all the places we have the fillet. So make sure you check your work and make sure you have your fillet in the right places because I may be missing some, but I think I have everything. So we are done with this part. To create the last part, which is the section. So come to this section view. And, and under your section option, yours may start with the planner. Make sure you check it, uh, change it to this uh, zone now. And so the first thing, the way we design this part. So let's come to section one and select the right plane. So we want to cut it this way. Then come down to section two. And we want to section it by the top line. And to show you what is giving you this is because we changed the option to the zona. And when we click in here, you'll see this box. So if I select any part of this box, it is going to delete it. So that is how you create the shape. So I'll select those box. I'll select that one and this one because we want to only cut out this part of it. So once we have that, we can, before you click OK, come down to save. So select save and you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to leave it as this and make sure your view orientation is on and click save. So now we can exit that section view to go to the normal view. And if you want to see that section again, just come down to your, um, to this view layout and you should see that section over, over here. Click it and it's going to show you that section view. So that is everything your instructor, your instructor wants you to do on this assignment. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.